we are standing in the premises of the grand ram temple which is being built in the center of ayodhya the nagari of bhagwan ram as you can see in the back the construction is going on in the full swing for the pran pratishtha that is going to happen on january 22 2024 to understand the architecture the technicalities of construction we have with us the project manager of the ram temple shri jagadish afre ji uh, afre sir uh, how much construction is done now that uh, we are uh, approaching the pran pratishtha uh, remember we have started way back in 2020 the trust formation was in the month of february after that we decided to go ahead with a particular type of frame the temple and the structural part of it but then knowing fully well that we have now the land available of 70 acres right the earlier plans hmm. were modified twice in the month of february and in the month of july on the 5th of august there was a bhumi puja it took place exactly at the same place where earlier there was babri masjid land was just uh, plain and after doing that kind of thing a with a good ceremony around but with limited people the thing had started okay. the kick start function took place only for a day and thereafter the actual work on site took place now remember this part of the total work is uh, a design or a architectural part which is very keenly done by cb sompura ji the famous architect who takes care of all the temples and particularly in the north hmm. rajasthan uh, gujarat and the northern indian part and this is particularly the nagar shaili temple so they had earlier made a sample also a wooden model was made mm -hmm. it was presented to ashok ji single earlier mm -hmm. who was looking after the whole thing mm -hmm. and that time because the land was not available mm -hmm. the model was very small mm -hmm. it had only sinha dwar mm -hmm. then one mandap mm -hmm. and then thereafter it was it contained the garbhagriha area mm -hmm. and that time the height of the temple was not more than 111 okay. it was so small mm -hmm. it was only ground floor right. not even the first and second floor but after that when we had almost around 70 acres of land everybody thought hmm. that we should go in for a large one bigger temple and hmm. as it was said by ashok ji earlier saugandh ram ki khate hai hmm. mandir wahi banayenge hmm. mandir bhavya banayenge hmm. so taking clue of that hmm. वही का मतलब है कि जहाँ पे बाबरी मस्जिद है उसी जगह पे अपना गर्भगृह है और उसी जगह पे गर्भगृह को रखते हुए ईस्टवर्ड लुकिंग मंदिर का जो फेस रखा गया तो उसमें तीन गुंबद और बढ़ाए गए तीन हॉल तो अकॉर्डिंगली नाउ दिस हैज फाइव हॉल्स एंड देन गर्भगृह तो अकॉर्डिंगली द टेम्पल नाउ इज एडमेजरिंग ऑलमोस्ट थ्री ईस्ट वेस्ट थ्री फीट to 60 feet by north south and by height it is 161 it is walking 50 feet more than what it was supposed to be and that's how the total building construction was then redesigned by the time we had gone for the bhumi puja mm -hmm. it was thought that probably this would have a total structure made out of stone say a sandstone right. which comes from Uh, Bharatpur hmm. that is Bansi Paharpur where mostly the iskon temples and akshanara and purushottam temple are made the similar type of thing was thought of earlier so accordingly hmm. the construction was thought of accordingly and the footing foundations the part of uh, the requirement to have a stability was then thought accordingly but when we enlarge the temple framework the base itself went up the total load on the soil also went up hmm. so the footing also had to be changed okay. earlier it was thought that we would be going for hmm. pile foundation mm -hmm. it was one diameter pile and around 1200 piles would make 
a total load bearing structure mm -hmm. on the top of that there was a capping of 2.5 meter concrete okay. and this part of the concrete structure would take care of the total load of the structure mm -hmm. which is stone that time it was supposed to be 25 tons per square meter but as we have gone up here and now with the enlarged structure we have also increased height mm -hmm. we also enlarged the part of it we have also added granite for the plinth okay. which was not thought of earlier mm, yes. so the total load has now gone mm. more than 45 to 50 tons per square almost double of it so accordingly the foundation had to be changed mm. and instead of pile foundation mm. we changed it to a different kind mm. this part of engineering is something which is marvelously done mm. by all IITians okay. Delhi IIT mm. Kanpur IIT mm. Mumbai IIT. So you're still from Mumbai IIT. Yeah, I'm from Mumbai IIT. I am hmm. definitely proud of all that part. Yeah. Then also Gauhati IIT, Chennai IIT. They hmm. came all together hmm. and a expert committee was formed. Hmm. All of them they decided that hmm. to, in order to have the total enlargement hmm. and also the load bearing structure, hmm. we need to test the basic soil. Right. This soil is alluvial sand which is basically a silt from the river and when we are looking out for the actual load bearing structure of the uh, land mm -hmm. we also found out mm -hmm. as compared to all earlier structure particularly in south india there is all stone right. in the northern india as you go into himalaya there is also a stone mm -hmm. here up to 200 feet below there is no stone at all there is no murum mm -hmm. so there was no hard hard strata available mm -hmm. to take the bearing of the thing okay. so we decided to go in for a gpr mm -hmm. that is a ground penetration radar mm -hmm. this part of the radar was applied by ngri national geo research institute hyderabad mm -hmm. the institute came here for 15 days they virtually scanned an area of almost 1000 feet okay. by 600 feet and to the depth of almost 65 to 70 feet mm -hmm. as deep as that and they found out that there is a lot of cultural debris in this land. The cultural debris was nothing more the remains of the earlier temples. Right. It was thought they would be, hmm. but now it is confirmed that they were temples of a kind. Hmm. But nobody could confirm hmm. whether they were from the Jaina or Buddha hmm. or from the area of earlier Hindu hmm. empires. So probably it was then thought hmm. that we should open up the land by excavating thoroughly hmm. so we started excavating the thing hmm. and during the excavation hmm. we came across three or four old temple structures in the virtually live form on the 12th century there was the structure which was made by king megasuta and we also got the inscription which is written on the stone during the excavation were done after the Babri Masjid demolition. Hmm. The stone was embedded inside the Babri structure. After the demolition everything came out. And two very important aspects which came out was one inscription hmm. showed very clearly that Megasutta had constructed this temple. Hmm. It was a kind of a renovation done hmm. in those days okay. during period 1154 to 59. That is 12th century and it was on the instructions of his father mm. and grandfather. King did it mm. and very honestly he wrote down mm. that I am doing this as a part of the renovation where the earlier temple existed. Mm. Earlier temple also was Ram temple. So he constructed Vishnu Avatar mm. Ram temple right. where Ram was enthroned mm. and then particularly was on the lotus. Mm. Ramji in not in the full statue form but a part was formed we also had pranala system mm. which is used normally for abhishek mm. we also seen amalak system mm. which is a part of the kalash mm -hmm. and everything was mm. then available mm -hmm. and very clearly known as the structure of the 12th century when we went down further mm. we came across the structure from the skanda gupta you were also part of the excavation yeah i was a part of the excavation the whole of uh, asi team like BR Mani mm -hmm. and other people also mm -hmm. had participated mm -hmm. 
it was all already done with a very close atmosphere. Mm -hmm. We had put down all the sheets around, mm -hmm. and we are going deep inside so mm -hmm. that nobody would take a coverage of that kind of a thing because mm -hmm. it was supposed to be under the instructions of Supreme Court, right. Police, mm -hmm. and the District Magistrate here. Mm -hmm. so accordingly, we took all the precautions. We found out Skanda Gupta, mm -hmm. which is of six and seven century. Mm -hmm. Further, we went down mm -hmm. and we found that structure from the Vikramaditya. A temple map was found out, the temple columns, and that time in those days it was 17 by 5, hmm. 85 pillar temple. It was 1st century BC by Vikram who formulated the Samvat. So we also had the excavations done on that. Hmm. When we further went in hmm. for our foundation hmm. to a depth of 40, 45 feet, hmm. we could get the remains of Maurya Kal. That was 3rd or 4th century BC. Right. And then further, as we went up to 60 feet deep, mm -hmm. we also found out the remains of 13, 1300 years old BC. Remains of the earlier temples and people who lived in those days. Mm -hmm. There were ring wells. Mm -hmm. There were also uh, formulations of uh, copper uh, urns. Mm -hmm. And this part of the things was found here. And we were all astonished hmm. that probably a kind of structure hmm. what we were looking out for and actually we were looking out for only foundation. Right. We could get all the details of this part of the thing. Mm -hmm. ASI did the carbon dating, they hmm. confirmed the dates hmm. and they also confirmed that this is a reality of Ayodhya right. that is Ram Janma Bhumi. Hmm. So we studied the structure hmm. of the land around, hmm. the depth around, hmm. uh, depth inside. Hmm. And behind there is a Sharyu hmm. river. Sorry. So river Sharyu river bed also we studied okay. by taking the ISRO maps. Okay. And we could find out by the paleo channels mm -hmm. that earlier the river was here. And now river is virtually thrown out by mm -hmm. around 400 meters. Mm -hmm. Now you see Brahma Kunda Gurudwara. Yes, yes. It is just behind the Brahma Kunda Gurudwara. Now the present river flows. Mm -hmm. So this 400 meter mm -hmm. behavior or the change in the behavior of the river hmm. also has given us a clue for formation of the foundation. Right. During that part of the thing we found out that hmm. this soil is very weak, hmm. load bearing is not sufficient to take care of the load what we are looking out for. Hmm. So we had to do strengthening of the soil. Right. So what we did is hmm. we went into the research at Chennai IIT, Delhi IIT hmm. and also Guwahati IIT hmm. and we virtually went in for a new kind of, it's a renovated form of the cement, mm -hmm. concrete. Mm -hmm. It is without steel. Mm -hmm. It was using fly ash. Okay. It was using 3% of the cement. Mm -hmm. And this part of the thing, we could just complete mm -hmm. the work in six months after roller compacting the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Each layer was about one feet, mm -hmm. compacted to 10 inches. Mm -hmm. Like that, there are 48 layers mm -hmm. done overnight mm -hmm. at 15 degrees or less temperature. Okay. We were virtually having a nightmare all through. Mm -hmm. And all of us for six months struggled mm. to do the excavation and mm. do immediately thereafter mm. the foundation part of it. Because unless the foundation was done, mm. nothing else was possible. Right. So this part of the foundation mm. was made mm. almost a year later, mm. 22 Diwali, mm. barely a year ago, mm. that we could have this part of the thing. And then we collected mm. stones in the form of granite hmm. slabs and 5 by 3 by 2 approximately hmm. weighing almost 3 and 3.5 three and ton each hmm. there are 17,500 stones which were collected from all over the South India hmm. from Karnataka, from Vijayawada, from Telangana and then what we see here was the plinth hmm. the plinth was formulated, it is locked inside by using dowels on the top of that, what hmm. you see now hmm. virtually is a pink red sandstone structure which is carved out from the Rajasthan stone structure. There are almost more than 1200 people who are working in Rajasthan mm -hmm. over the mines, over the different workshops and they are getting all the stones here. What we don't do there is a, pint, <laughs> is a kind of the iconography figures which are carved on the columns 
which are carved on the sides of it like Konak temple. These kinds of temples are very famous even the earlier days because of the iconography. Sometimes because of Shiva Puran, sometimes because of Vishnu Puran. Now this time it was the turn of Sri Ram. Hmm. So all the Ramayana Katha, hmm. Dasha Avatar Katha, hmm. plus hmm. Mahesh Ji hmm. is there, Shankar hmm. Bhagwan is there, hmm. Hanuman Ji is there, Ganesh Ji is there. So all the idols will be now decorating the walls hmm. and the columns. Hmm. There are three ninety-two columns. Okay. Out of that, one ninety columns are only on the ground floor. Hmm. And now our aim hmm. for the January hmm. is to at least complete the ground floor column. Hmm. And of that, on the root track, hmm. minimum seventy numbers to do. Hmm. We are concentrated only on seventy. Each one has twelve hmm. to sixteen different kinds of iconography figures. Hmm. Each one takes for three people hmm. around fifteen to twenty days. It is that. a very critical and a delicate job and that we have been doing it here mm. you see all the figures now mm. on front portion of siha siha dwar durtya mandap ranga mandap mm. and now reaching to the grah mandap we are done to mm. 70 pillars with different kinds of formation in the first and second layer the third mm. layer is still mm. pending now we are going ahead mm. with marble With inlay work, and this marble and inlay work is now going on, mm. which is giving a lot of dust. And now we are trying to complete this as fast as possible, mm -hmm. so that by January when we go in for phase one inauguration, mm. please remember it is not the total completion of the temple. Right. It is phase one inauguration when we'll have ground floor complete. Complete. Mm. Then we'll have first floor mm. done up to the slab. Okay. What you see here is almost a slab level. Hmm. We'll be completing that portion here. Mm -hmm. All the gumbaj, okay. which are now seen from the front side, mm -hmm. we would have completed Sina Dwar, we would have completed Nrutya Mandap, mm -hmm. completed Ranga Mandap, mm -hmm. and on either side, mm -hmm. Kirtan and Prathana Mandap, mm -hmm. gumbaj we would have completed. Okay. That is the status in mm -hmm. January mm -hmm. 22. Mm -hmm. We'll be decorating all from inside. Okay. We'll be doing also uh, inside lighting mm -hmm. from the outside front portion. You see here a parkota. Right. This is the entrance of the outer parikrama. Okay. This parikrama, north south, hmm. is 150 meter length, mm -hmm. and east to west is 250 meter length. This is also a stone structure. Okay. While there are three side basements, mm -hmm. and on all four sides the parikrama runs. Hmm. This is 765 meter length of parikrama. So this is all in stone, a similar kind, a similar structure, hmm. but in a different design. Here also there are iconography figures. Here also we will have decorations made out of light, mm. inside light. Then from outside we will have lot of flood lighting system mm. to start with. Mm. Slowly, steadily we will go into the facade lighting system, mm. all external lighting system, mm -hmm. and we'll be ready by then. So this is the thing what we have planned. Mm. Today we are very sure mm. that we will not be able to complete the whole of Parkota. But the entrance portion, where the people will go in, mm. portion where we have in the basement mm. our electrical rooms, mm -hmm. our control rooms of electronic systems, will be completed. Okay. And this part of the thing we are sure will be completing, mm. and slowly, steadily, mm. over one year, we'll be completing the remaining part of the portion. For the total te temple to get completed, mm. it may take still one more year. Okay. We expect that by next December. Mm. will be ready with the temple complete mm. and as far as parkota is concerned the half of the parkota also will be completed okay. parkota will may take one year more okay. so total together mm. by 25 diwali will be able to complete the premises called temple mm. these are 10 acres of premises mm. out of 70 acres mm. in the remaining portion mm. we have yatri suvidha kendra okay. we have power we have mm. water Water treatment plants mm. and all these part mm. are going to like prasad. Mm. Everything would be then ready. Okay. Today we are going to complete it mm. up to Kuber Tila, which is just by the side of this. In the greenery, what you see there, okay. we have a hillock called Kuber Tila. Okay. There we will have Shiva Mandir mm. and we will also have Jatayu Smarak. Mm. In addition to the Jatayu Smarak, here mm. nearby mm. we will have seven rishis or mm. seven. Dignified people who mm. made 
रामा दि ग्रेट पुरुषोत्तम वशिष्ठ भरद्वाज वी ऑल्सो हैव विश्वामित्र वी ऑल्सो हैव अगस्ती देन निषाद राज देवी अहिल्या एंड शबरी माता so those temples also will come around in this area mm. this part which is almost 50% of the total land mm. is targeted now in the phase 1 okay. all this part would then be ready mm. and next time when you come here you mm. are able to go inside mm. after 20 23rd of january mm. actually people will have entry inside mm. on the ground floor okay then you see all the economic uh, all the uh, iconography figures mm. but as you go further up mm. by end of the year mm. 24 we would have completed the ground floor complete mm. and first floor and the second floor mm. and then we will be able to go ahead with the gumat mm. shamran as it is said mm. and then we will go ahead with the shikhar the shikhar pratishthapana samaroh mm. once again will take place okay. where all these premises will be mm. handed over like lokarpan mm -hmm. to all the people here right now it is still under construction partly with lnt tc and trust mm. so thereafter the premises will be completely available for the people to look at mm. and study and this is the plan what we have oh, the possibility further is the remaining portion mm. which is required for the pilgrims for the normal operation mm. would get ready along with this in january but things like museum things like prasad guru mm. things like maybe a auditorium mm. those things are not set on priority mm. they go into the second phase Mm -hmm. The work may start in February, mm -hmm. March, and will get completed by 25. So this is the total plan. Mm -hmm. Where probably we'll be able to go ahead. The beautiful part, just to convey you in summarized form, this temple along with the pagoda, when will be ready, mm -hmm. will be connected through a gallery or a sort of a bridge. And at the other end, mm -hmm. in pagoda, we'll have a lift, 24 seater lift. Mm -hmm. Two lifts will be there. so divyang disabled people old people who are not able to walk down these staircases and steps mm. they will have the entry to the first and second floor via lift okay. that is seen though mm. as far as this part of the work is concerned mm. we also have planned the lower plinth area mm. with sri ram katha mm. in 3d format okay. they are not pictures mm. as it is done in maybe tirupati or in mahakal hmm. probably here there are 3d hmm. figures full figures hmm. who will be making events hmm. of ramayana like uh, dasharath is giving payas to his queens hmm. a the second could be ram and sita getting married third could be tratika hmm. like that hmm. will come up to ram rajya abhishek and this part of the ram rajya abhishek will come in the front so there are almost 94 hmm. different kinds of events what we have planned hmm. those will be a part of this at the lower plain this is similar to what we have seen in konark okay in konark you have all the ratha chakra so all those ratha chakras will be replaced here hmm. by ram katha hmm. darshan while the pagoda mm. will have murals made out of bronze mm. and there are almost 100 to 125 mm. being planned now mm -hmm. they will have hindu jeevan darshan so this part will make this not only ram mandir but the rashtra mandir to come so this is what we are looking out for mm. and people have given a, a lot of support mm. by way of donation by way of uh, shram mm. by way of Uh, coming here and doing a work, lot of work here lot of support has been achieved through vendors through lnt and we find that probably this has been a very very enjoyable job and we are enjoying it thoroughly well i'm thankful to you for really having a coverage of a similar kind where most of the people would like to have uh, definitely an urge to be here see the things in person and see the beauty of the total thing i repeat once again the same thing which i was saying earlier mm -hmm. the days and the saying what ashoji singhalite saugandha ram ki khate hai
मंदिर वही बनाएंगे जहाँ पे पहले मस्जिद थी उसी जगह पे गर्भ गृह है मंदिर भव्य बनाएंगे तो इट वॉज नॉट ए स्मॉल ही हैड थॉट ऑफ ए स्मॉल बिकॉज लैंड वॉज नॉट अवेलेबल इट वॉज ओनली टू पॉइंट सेवन सेवन एकर वेन ही वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट इट बट दैट वॉज स्टिल इन द कोर्ट ही वॉज नॉट हैविंग एनी कस्टडी नाउ वी हैव एवरी थिंग विथ हस सो वी आर नाउ हैव टेन एकर्स ऑफ लैंड नॉट टू पॉइंट सेवन सेवन एकर्स लैफ फॉर द टेम्पल एंड दैट्स ए मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल एन्जॉयबल एंड ए प्राउड मेकिंग इवेंट वी आर वेरी वेर थैंकफुल टू यू प्लीज डू विजिट एंड कम बैक वंस अगेन इन जानेवारी एंड ऑलमोस्ट एवरी आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स यू विल सी द न्यू थिंग्स कमिंग अप थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच